and that's kung that's kung <laughs> Uh, do you know some of this? Of course! So guys, we arrive here now in Castle SP, the bird sanctuary. If it's open, but looks like it's open, there's so plenty of cars here parking. So let's go and explore the place. Ah, it's a one-way system. Oh, that's a, uh, great. Welcome everybody to the castle last way. <laughs> Welcome, we'll feed you. Okay, lads. Now watch. I think you'll be biting me. <laughs> Yeah, it's easy. <laughs> Do it I'll give you a hundred pounds if it bites. Oh. <laughs> he wants it. He wants bitten now. <laughs> oh, there's there a red ear. Ah. Okay, you take those off. And they'll pull you the little ones, you didn't notice that? <laughs> That's a goose. Goose? No, here. Here. Now, what is the one way system they're talking about? Oh, yes, that's Sir Peter Scott. Show, Peter, show off Sir Peter Scott. Who is he? Well, Look. conservationist and founder of WWT. Oh, no, he's well. That's a beautiful sculpture of him. Sir Peter Scott, conservationist, or conservationist, and founder <laughs> of the World Wildlife. Ah, World Wildlife Trust. Trust. Okay. And look, he's um, well known that he was a son of the Scott of the Antarctic. You see. <laughs> <laughs> Too shy. Wait. Yeah. Is this the That's Scrabble Tower over there? Yeah. So you should be your binoculars and Ah uh, You don't have binoculars. Ah, 
Uh, do you know some of this? Of course! The curlew. You can see them all the time, the big curly beak. Mm -hmm. Northern pintails, light belly. That's, yeah. Lapwing. That's a special bird of Ireland. The lapwing? Yeah. Oh. Probably it's very rare to see. No, no, no. Great clover, yes. Uh, red shank. I know all these birds. And the eider. That's mm. the eider duck. Do you ever hear of an eider gun? Or, sorry. And the eider down. It's a quilt full of feathers. Mm. They use their feathers. There's a big crest of puffy feathers. And they puff them up to keep warm. The drops they are around their feathers uh -huh. to keep warm in the winter, wintery weather. There's winter birds and there's summer birds. Oh, there's loads. Oh, yeah. There's a grey heron. So winter birds will just come out in winter. They wouldn't come out in summer. <laughs> well, they're migrating. Ah, yeah, okay. They come for summer and winter. Some will come here for the winter. So you sit here with your binoculars. Oh yeah. If you can see some birds. There's some birds there. Isn't yeah. There? Far, far away. Let's travel over 2,000 miles in the winter in our own hard lock. Frankfurt is the biggest sea lock in the UK and Ireland. World Wildlife Trust manages over 400 hectares of mudflats along its shores. It has a massive tidal flow. 350 million litres of water flows into it on each tide. This makes it rich in nutrients and plankton, including the protein-rich eelgrass that the lake valley brent geese travel so far to feed on. Add to that the mild winter climate on the sheltered shores, and it's easy to see why this winter destination of choice is for so many migrating water birds. And it's not just Brent geese that love the log. Each winter, more than 70,000 seabirds visit, including red shank, knot, shell duck, shoveler, godwit, and plover. And then, if you go to the window, you can look out into the log. Carry on. And over there, we've got Scrub Tower. We'll visit that very soon. That's on our bucket list as well. Okay, shall we continue? Yeah, we'll head on.
Right. <laughs> that was fun.